Hello friends, Democles Rocha here. Today we are going to practice division. If you support this initiative, give us a like. And if you would like to know about our new videos, subscribe to this channel and hit the notifications bell. Let's get started. We are going to divide 7630. This is our dividend. We are going to divide in seven equal parts. So seven is the divisor. Okay. So we start by taking a look at the first digit that we have here. It's seven, just like what we have here. So we can start. And we start by asking the question, what number do I multiply by seven to get seven or almost seven, but not more than seven? Well, to get seven, right? So the number is one. You just take a look here and you know the number is one. So I write one here. One times seven is seven. I write it here and then we subtract. This is a pretty easy subtraction, right? Because seven minus seven equals zero. After a subtraction, we bring down the next digit. The next digit is six. So now we have here zero six. Forget about the zero. Think only about the six. What number from 0 to 9 do I multiply by 7 to get almost 6, but not more than 6? Okay, you will see that 1 times 7 is already too much. So the number we were looking for is 0. I write 0 here. 0 times 7 is 0. I put 0 here. And then we do another subtraction that is pretty easy. Because 6 minus 0 is still 6. After a subtraction, we bring down the next digit, which is 3. So now we have here 63. And we ask the question, what number from 0 to 9 do I multiply by 7 to get 63? You take a look at the multiplication table and you know that the number we were looking for is 9. So 9 is what I write here. 9 times 7 is 63 that I write here. So we subtract now. 63 minus 63 is 0. After a subtraction, we bring down the next digit. It is 0. So here we have 0, 0. We brought down 0. We have to ask the question. What number do I multiply by 7 to get almost 0 or 0 itself? Okay. By looking at the multiplication table, you will see that the number is 0. So that's what I write here. 0 times 7 is 0. I write it here and then we subtract. 0 minus 0. It's pretty easy, is 0, right? There are no visible digits to bring down, so this is over, since we are left with 0 here, right? So, in this division, the quotient is 1090 and the remainder is 0. I'm going to copy that right here. The quotient is 1090 and the remainder is 0. For instance, if you want to divide 7,630 books equally among seven schools, each school receives 1,090 books and there are no books left over. If you want to be sure that a division like this is correct, you can always multiply the divisor and the quotient, get the product and add the remainder. After doing that, you should find the dividend if the division is correct. What I'm trying to tell you is that the dividend is always equal to the product of the divisor and the quotient added the remainder, okay? The remainder is always less than the divisor and it is zero or greater than zero. In this case, the remainder was zero. So we can say that 7,630 is divisible by seven and 7,630 divided by seven equals exactly 1,090. I must tell you that this video was made so it could help you. I hope it did. If it did help you, you can leave a comment with a smiley face. I will be happy to see it. Now, if you want to keep practicing, you may want to divide 3,543 by 4. If you do this division correctly, leave a comment with your result. I will be happy to see it. Now, if you want me to take a look at your division, take a picture of it and post it on Instagram and tag me. Matemática com Democles, because I'm Brazilian, so Matemática is written in Portuguese, okay? I want to say thank you for being here with me up to this point. I wish you have a wonderful day. Bye!